Maya paaabak or good morning in Kapampangan. I am Trixie Ann Mitra and with my members, Jasmine Abaya, Christine Camille Feria, Lou Erika Mari, and Ivania Joy Santos. We are the Huwana Spices. Come and join us as we explore the culinary capital of the Philippines, Pampanga. The province of Pampanga is located in the central Luzon region. It has a small land area of about 2,203 square kilometers, forming part of the central plain extending from Manila Bay north to the Gulf of Lingayen. Founded in 1571 by Martin de Goti, a Spanish conquistador, the province name was derived from the native words Pampang Ilo, meaning riverside, and you call the people in their language as Kapampangan. This province is famous for its well-preserved ancestral homes and the lineup of bright, colorful year-round festivals. It is also rich in natural wonders and, of course, amazing cuisine. Pampanga is mainly agricultural. Farming is the primary industry of the province. Rice, sugarcane, and corn are the direct products produced from farming. They are also the home of the food process industries that produce pork and chicken tocino, hot dogs, hams, corned beefs, para beef tocino, tapa, and organizes the Philippine sausages. Who wouldn't know the famous sisig in the country, popular for its crispy porky flavors? The dish is made from boiled and grilled chopped pig's head and liver, seasoned with soy sauce, calamansi, and chopped chili peppers. Kare kare. A traditional Filipino stew consisting of meat such as tripe, pork leg, oxtail, goat or chicken, vegetables, and a thick savory peanut sauce with the natty seeds. Shrimp paste is often served on the side of the dish in order to enhance its flavors. The best buko pandan can also be found in Pampanga. Nathaniel's buko pandan is a type of Filipino dessert prepared with young coconut strips, pandan jelly, nata de coco, cream, and condensed milk served ice cream style. Also, binulo, a traditional way of cooking food inside a bamboo stalk, this process of cooking food was taken from how the indigenous Aitas in the mountains of Pampanga, cook their food. Buying locally produced foods and goods helps to build a sustainable economy. Consumers helps to stimulate regional economies, create and retain valuable jobs, support families, and strengthen community and culture. It also highlights our vast natural resources. The Philippines has an abundance of natural resources that allow it to produce exceptional products that exceed international standards. Buying local Filipino products contributes to our country's identity. In developing our Pampangas Gastronomic Development Plan, we conducted researches including Due to the pandemic, many Filipinos were becoming more mindful about their personal health, switching to healthier food choices, and becoming more open to plant-based and meatless options, and staying physically active. So we decided to make a healthy version of our favorite sisig with oyster mushrooms. We find that mushrooms are similar to the apples using made of meat because of the texture of the mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms are linked to the several health benefits and are highly nutritious. They promote heart and immune system health, encourage healthy blood sugar control, and provide antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. Here are the ingredients that we use in our seasoning seasoning mushroom. 500 grams fresh oyster mushrooms chopped into cubes. 50 grams dried bean curd rehydrated in hot water and chopped into cubes. One large white onion finely chopped. 
3 pieces of finger chilies, chopped, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, calamansi juice, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon pepper, 1 fourth cup butter, and red chili pepper for garnish. And here are the procedures of seasoning mushroom. Mix fresh mushrooms and rehydrated bean curd together in a bowl. Add soy sauce, calamansi juice, salt, and pepper. And marinate it for about 20 to 30 minutes. Melt butter in a pan, then add the minced garlic, onions, and chilies. Stir fry for about 3 to 5 minutes. Next, add the mushroom and bean curd mixture. Mix well to prevent the small bits from burning. When ready to serve, add the mushroom mixture to a heated sizzling plate. Serve immediately while visiting. Garnish with chilies if desired. For our marketing strategy, we will use word of mouth marketing because being heard is crucial in business. We'll make sure that our product makes a positive impact on people so that they'll be more inclined to recommend it to others. Social media marketing. The company will employ social media marketing which will aid in the promotion of our products because social media has been demonstrated to be an effective and possibly successful marketing platform. It is well recognized that it has the ability to help you increase your revenue. Our chosen target audience are locals and tourists in Pampanga. Specifically, locals who are strict on their diets, healthy living, and senior citizen and adventurer tourists who want to spice up their meal experience. After completing the deal, we conducted an online survey through Google Forms and do some interviews in the vicinity. Here are the results. In our conducted online survey, we received a total of 11 responses. Rate the food product based on the given scale and check the box of your choices. This is the rating given by our respondents. For the flavor, we have one vote for good, one vote for very good, and nine votes for excellent. Next, we have the texture. One vote for good, four votes for very good, and six votes for excellent. Next is temperature. We have one vote for good, three votes for very good, and seven votes for excellent. Then for our presentation, we have one vote for good, one vote for very good, and nine votes for excellent. Finally, we have the overall food quality. We receive one vote for good, one vote for very good, and nine votes for excellent. Would you recommend our product to a friend or family member? All of our respondents say they would definitely recommend our product to a friend or family member. If we plan to sell it, how much do you think it should cost? This is the result for our third and last question on our survey. 63.6% of our respondents voted for a price range of 150 to 180 pesos. And 36.4% voted for the price range of 100 to 130 pesos. The majority of our respondents agree that we should sell our product at a price ranging from 150 to 180 pesos. In conclusion, based on our survey, Sisig Mushrooms receive overall excellent food taste standards. Thus, our product Sisig Mushroom is definitely recommended to people in Pampanga and tourists. We decide to sell it at a fair price of 150 to 180 pesos per serving. And that's it for the Juana Spices Product Astronomic Development Plan for the province of Pampanga. Thank you and God bless. Pampanga.